Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to Minecraft. We are here because, well, I'm going to show you some stuff. This is my pet project in Minecraft on the server I frequent, uh, which I will get to showing you part of. It's too large to show all at once um, in a moment. However, before then, there is something that I absolutely... Where did the glowstone go? Fix that. Okay. Um, but first, there's something I absolutely must talk about first. Uh, this has to do with Final Fantasy V, so if you don't care about that, you can skip ahead a bit. I'll try to put in an, a link or annotation or something. At very least, I'll tell you the time slot for how far to skip ahead if you don't care about Final Fantasy V, although you should. Um, but we'll see what I can do there. Uh, however, for those of you who do, here is what happened. Um, you see, I have finished recording Final Fantasy V, which is nice. There, however, however, there was a major complication with the last 14 videos. Namely, I don't have any game audio, which is obviously a big problem. And because of, among other reasons, these being the last few episodes, I can't re-record any of them with the possible exception of the very final episode, uh, because not only would that sort of ruin the integrity of doing it blind, uh, I should turn that off, um, I didn't mention I was on a server. Uh, but also, it, well, I don't have the save file anymore. The reason I can record, I could probably re-record the last episode is because I have, have a save file from, oh, about 10 minutes into it, I want to say. But that is not tr the case for the other, the preceding 13 episodes. And... It leaves me in this awkward position where, well, I could record the last or re-record the last one, but I'm not even sure if I should, because again, it would not be a really be as authentic as it was the first time around. And even if it was, well, the fact of the matter is, I would have already done it all once. Um, now that's not to say it is totally repairable. I have started working through them to. Putting it, basically putting in a whole lot of tracks from OC Remix in places where they're appropriate. But it is still not going to be quite the same, I'm afraid. Um, to which effect actually sort of brings me to the next problem with this. Because I need to put in uh, music tracks manually, it's taking me quite a bit more time to edit these than it otherwise would have. Which, uh, fortunately, I'm ahead enough that it's not going to delay my schedule uh, so much as it will prevent me from speeding it up. Because what I wanted to do here, and what I often do when I'm on the final stretch of an LP, is that I will start posting episodes more frequently. Like, I ba basically wanted to do an episode five or six days a week until I got to the end that's not going to happen because I cannot edit them fast enough. Which, you know, might even be good for you, but still, it's something you should be aware of. Um, now then, uh, well, yeah, there's not really much else to say, unfortunately. The, the reason it happened, it's a combination of a lot of factors, actually. I is partially because I rec was recording a huge batch all towards the end of the series within the span of a week so when I would normally have caught the any problems within at most two or three episodes this one went far longer before being caught um, it was also the problem was also caused because I got new headphones which may may seem like no big deal except that the cord is shorter so I ended up 
Long story short, I plugged them into a different port than usual, and that port overrode stereo mix, which is how I record sound off of my computer. Uh, yeah. And it was all just a sh whole shitstorm of, or the whole perfect shitstorm where had any one thing happened even a week earlier or later on, I wouldn't have been in any problem. Well, but it all sort of just all happened together at the perfect timing to screw everything up. Uh, oh well. That's the reality, I suppose. So, what you can do though, is tell me if you would like me to try to re-record the final episode. Uh, I'll probably re-release, I'll probably release that one I have currently recorded regardless, but if you really want me to redo the last episode that uh, with the game audio, then I will do it. It's uh, it's the part I'm capable of doing, so, yeah. Um, that said, that is the thing I really needed to say, so I can show you this! Welcome to... Calculus. I did not name it that. Somebody else came up with the name, but I built it. All of it. We are going to explore the upper city, which is the lair we're on, which it which accounts for oh a little over a th uh oh rather a little under a third of the city. Uh we're on the corner, which this is just a random building, actually. So let's take you through the tour. There are various signs throughout my city that are partially serve as, um, how would you call it, uh, thematic, partially to tell like a story, well I say a story, uh, really they're for setting the mood and theme and there's a little bit of a narrative going on, but it's mostly in past tense, or at least it's mostly passive. For example, the Lantern Pillar, which is the Guardian uh, Tower, so to speak, to the original entrance, which it, you can see under here. And it says right here, this, this tower stands tall and vigil over the underway, which is the name of that. Which, as you can see, is quite long. It stretches into, into the distance. I built that too. In fact, I built that before I had creative mode. Um, most of the city I built in creative mode. Because, well, it's freaking massive. It would take me... Well, I would say it would take me years to build this without creative mode, but the fact of the matter is, I have been building this on and off for over a year. Um, it is quite expensive. Uh, yeah. So, we'll just go down it a bit. This is one of the newer towers. It looks kind of like a face because I needed to put a building here. So I thought, why don't I get a little bit fun with some of the new blocks? And it sort of just ended up looking like a face. Because, you know, that happens. It There's not much in there. Um, this is the entrance, Citizens Beware, the lower walk here, which refers to this being the a entrance between the lower city, way down, the, way down here, oops, let's not fall down, and the upper city, because there's major classes going on in Calopolis. The Glass Observatory. In Calopolis, such a tranquil place is rare and unvisited. Which, this sounds about the same now, but it was raining a little bit earlier, and let me tell you, this is one of the only places with any peace and quiet in the upper city. Um... Perhaps more significant. Hmm, what is this thing? There's a reason behind all that glow spin up there, actually, which you can't see right now because it's midday, but it's on a timer. Curfew Administration Office. Why is there an administration office? Actually, I don't... Oh, do I have the signage in here? The curfew is strict. Those of the lower who do not quickly return to it will be returned quickly. 
<laughs> Which sounds kind of menacing. Uh, yeah, it's still full day. As the time, as the day gets longer, this will start counting down over here. Where if you reach the redstone torch, then it is past the curfew. At which point, if you're from the lower city, you are quickly returned to it. Uh, keep in mind the quickest way to return is what I just did there, uh, except maybe not so accidentally and a little bit more forcefully. Um, I think this is a maintenance building here, actually. Let me go check, I don't recall. Uh, maintenance access. Yep, big long stairway down there. Which leads to some- actually, doesn't even go anywhere, I don't remember. Some of this stuff is pretty obscure, and a lot of it is pretty old. Ah, uh, in Calculus, he who owns the land is king. Indeed, and this thing is made of solid glowstone, so... This little noble owns the lot across the street. That one! He has... that's a typo. Oops. Earned the title Landlord. Let's see what this is. These housing units are small and cramped and exp another typo. Damn it! And vastly superior to living in the dark lower city. Well, I guess it does look a little bit dark down there. And these definitely look cramped. I mean, look, it's like a one-bedroom apartment. It's literally a one-bedroom apartment. Um, not just one bedroom, it's a one-room apartment, and that room is the bedroom. It's kind of not very good living. But at least there's sunshine up here. And mailboxes, apparently. And that is a nice view. This ship is actually one of the very last things I built. I built the outside part of it, or the hall, probably over a year ago, but I didn't bother putting anything into it until like just a few months ago, earlier this year. And it's connected to the dock, which you, you may not be able to see it from out here, but underneath it is actually a proper dock which, which, where ships of more reasonable size could be expected to, you know, dock. Not this massive thing though. There's also something on top, but we'll get to there when we get there. It can be easy to forget that the upper city wasn't planned, and you can't really see much from here because of the new pipes! These are- the pipes are actually the newest thing. I waited until the latest patch to add them all because they're mostly made out of clay. Ceramic piping. This place was built one tower at a time. Well... That is actually technically true, both in both cases. Um, run your residence. I'm sure that means something. I don't recall what, but I'm sure it means something. Ingra residence. Oh hey, even when parts of the upper look like down below, light and safety is always guaranteed at least from each other. <laughs> I'm not really sure why I have that one there, to be honest. I think probably the one place in low- the one thing in the lower city that is rel you are relatively safe from is your neighbor. If for no other reason, because you're all stuck in that shithole together. Um, although the lighting guarantee is certainly the case up here. And is a literal fact. There is nowhere up here that is dark enough for monsters to spawn at any time of day. Not so much down there. Which brings us to one of the many parks, which are all built by the Artifacts, artifacts family. Built for Mammy Artifacts the Strange. <laughs> what an unfortunate title. Which the Artifacts? are what this city is ruled by three main noble houses which are way up there on their own tier uh the artifacts i believe are over there 
and they are, as their name may imply, primarily architects. Or at least they control the, primarily the architects. Although with that said, each family has its own building style that is distinct from each other. This one that we're right underneath tends to build, overbuild things at, and just make them really massive and build them with a lot of metal to make sure they stay standing. The artifacts tend to make more natural round things that stand that stay standing because they're genuinely well built. And the last one, which is like way over there out of sight, they just tend to flat stir it in gold and call it a day. Uh oops, uh that's a poorly designed doorway. I thought there was a su aha! In this city, impractical towers are a status symbol, but no one besides nobles may build above the clear line, which is approximately where the waterway there is. As a result, a contest has formed, a contest to see who blots out the most light below, and also providing a good excuse for making the Undercity even more dank and dark without cluttering up with the bottoms of towers. Um, so yeah, that, that ha that's how that happened. And we can come down here for yet another park. Uh, although we will not be staying here long because this is basically as low as the upper city goes. There's probably parts of the lower city that are higher up than this actually in terms of altitude. The timber. And in fact, if you look carefully, hey, there's a ramp here for for illegals, I guess. Man, that kind of sounds bad. To sneak into the upper city. There's a several places like... There's only one uh, place where it's legal for them to enter, which is the what tower over there. But there are several places where they can sneak in like that. Oh. Some little nobles come to these parks to experience the danger of the lower city. Most high bloods would say the same for the upper city. <laughs> As I said, there is major classism in this city. It's probably not a very good place to live, but it's a hell, hell of a nice place to look at. And it's another sign! Built for Oboro, Oboro, or rather, Artifacts, the Waterfall. Which makes sense because he has a great big waterfall. Um, a three-tiered park with a waterfall from one to the next. For most citizens of Calpolis, this canal runoff is the closest they come to contact with the high blood. And as you can see, this waterfall, this water source is actually from the canal up there. Uh, which is basically how the all the high bloods get around, because screw walking when you can ride a boat in the most impractical place you can imagine. <laughs> anyway. Uh, wait, did I go down there? Yes, I believe I did. Oops. Uh, well, yeah, I did. That's where it came up. Need to pay attention. And this is a nice sub... Or this is the, the really nice part of the upper city, I think. Uh, besides what it does for looking around things in the under city, but we won't be covering that this time. Is that, because parts of it are in different levels than others, you can get a scene like this, where you're in the upper city, and you're overlooking the rooftops of the upper city. And it just, I think it makes for a really great um, dynamic, both in terms of the view and just the, well, it just looks nice, you know? It's a really, it's a small thing that a lot of people might not notice, but it's the little things that really add to an experience. And as you can see, actually, the roofs up here also have glowstone on them, which is part of the lighting guarantee. Because <laughs> they would totally spawn monsters if they did not. Or at least some of them would. I think some of these are half blocks, but not all of them. And this is not a very private house. 
Now, there's a whole lot of places we can go from here. Uh, we're not. I'm not going to go over there. This over here is the uh, the uh, diplomat district, which the structures over there were built by other players who are really large builders like myself. Uh, actually, I need to get a few more players to add. Um, I want to say diplomacies, but that's not right. Um, to add, what is it called when a, the diplomat in a, di in a different country? The embassies, that's it. I need to get a few other places to build embassies over there, actually, but because these are fairly old. Um, and there's more players who qualify, but I can do that some other time. To be sure. So this sort of this just connects to it, although there is a little bit of talking signs here. So in Capolis, the diplomats live apart from the city. This arrangement suits diplomats and citizens equally fine. But one wonders why leaders of other men may not enter Capolis. Indeed, it seems strange. Next up, we'll go over here. Well, no, we won't. Well, yes, we will. I'll just speed things up a little bit with the power of flight. The obsidian tear? Is that tear or tear? Well, it should be tear, I think, unless it is tear. And wow, that's a long draw. May we never see a criminal deserving of its fate. So, in the upper city, general, or in capitalists in general, really, if you commit a, bat, a crime, you're banished usually to the next lowest city, unless you do something really bad, then they throw you down here. The lucky ones don't survive the fall. Let's just put it that way. Because there is not much you're going to do to escape there, and it's probably full of other people who got thrown down. So, you know, not a good place. Next up, we can go visit the up top part of the docks. Iron Wharf, a massive place built for the wealth. E. Hypo. Um, this used to be a warp point. But I repurposed it because I got rid of the warp point. Because people shouldn't be warping into my city anyway. They should be taking one of the. Well, ideally, they should be taking the pathway over there that I showed in the beginning, actually. However, it does serve a new purpose namely, an elevator to get down to the freaking dock. Because for the longest time, you couldn't reach down here at all unless you swam. Which isn't really very practical for a dock, you know? But now you can uh, get down here. Which is nice. Now, up. Uh, too far up. This place can even dock airships. Though good luck getting one past customs. The noble families guard their air jealously. Which would explain why no one's allowed to build up to their level. Actually, this is a bit of a runway, although what you would use it for, I'm not certain, it, considering this is basically vanilla Minecraft. Minus a few security mods. Let's see, next. This doesn't go anywhere. Uh, this goes over here, but we aren't going to go over there because we can go there a different way. However, I do want to check out this. They, oh, you can always recognize the work of house, damn typos, house, did I hear a zombie? It's a zombie! How the hell did he get here? You're not supposed to be up here. Down. He survived, possibly. Uh, anyway, House Ferrum, which is that one? Uh, which is iron, so go figure. They build their towers to last. Which is definitely true in this case, which is a big, huge, massive opera house. Yeah, I guess the lobby is a little bit dark. Hmm, I should probably do something about that. But it can happen later on. 
this is the big lobby area. And the stage! There's a zombie on the stage. Why is there a zombie on the stage? You know, I don't care. He can be on the stage. <laughs> and of course, with any auditorium slash, aud slash opera house, there's also these stands. Which are fairly large. And probably a little bit more safe than the stage. <laughs> At least if I built them to specifications. Yeah, you see? This place is big. And I built the whole thing just to block- just to ruin the view for some people in the harbor. Um, <laughs> down below. Or I say harbor, it's a key, really. But, again, that's something that I'll wait for when I'm doing the undercity- or not the undercity, the lower city. There's actually a distinction here between the two. Next up is another park. The flat. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy with being called the flat, I don't think. But, oh hey, there's a sign! Some say the lion's treasure is still in their old tower. Lion's treasure, you say? What could that possibly mean? Oh hey, more signs. Once, the Lion family was the most prestigious- that's coming from inside, so don't worry about it. Um, in the city, second only to the High Blood, the t and this- the Tower of the Horned Lions. This is not re that's what this tower is called. Of course, it says was because the noblest took exception to the Lions, and they aren't really around anymore, but their treasure may be. Now the Lion's Tower is a mere prize to be fought over. It is prime real estate, after all. Uh, yeah, that's coming from... down below. As you notice, no one can reach the side tower, at least conventionally. I, it is possible to get in there without flying. But, you know, I'll leave it to your imagination what might be in there, because there is something. There is something, alright. And this is actually one of the first things I built. Uh, this park, with a nice lake in it. Although, yeah. The park of... The damn! <laughs> so many of these people have terrible uh, post-mortem nicknames. You know they had nothing to do with choosing them. Probably as part of a hazing ritual for the family. Uh, which is, by the way, the house of this family is right above us. You can't can't really get a very good look at it from down here, unfortunately. Uh, wait. This one doesn't have a sign, does it? Oh, no, there it is. Megna artifacts. The stripped, striped man. At least it's supposed to be striped. I'm... Um... Yeah. Okay, and hey, look, that looks like a building between two towers. That's actually a little bit out of place, to be honest. This sort of construction is a lot more typical of the lower city than the upper city. I'm pretty sure I was just trying to come up with an excuse to have... block out all the direct sunlight to this area uh, without putting, like, ten towers there. Oh well, though. I think it still works, since this is the only one that's like that. And actually, it's our next destination, because it'll be really quick. I don't think it even has any signs. Nope, just a bed on the other end. It's a lot of floor space, though, so that's something. Which brings us to... The Ironborn Long. Built as a trade district for the upper city. And indeed, there is a bunch of trade stuff here. Plus also, one or, one or two of these were built by other players. Uh, by invite. By invitation. More or less. Although, I'm not sure I recall which ones. The odd thing about 
those typo. Ah, there's so many typos in here. Who owned the land in the upper city? Is that the land was built in the first place? So in other words, uh, oh hey, there's actually something in here. Just a bed. I guess that. Oh wait, oh, I know what it's talking about. It's because this has a bit great big yard. Man, this is a really old sign, which is why I don't remember what it's talking about. But yeah, they have a really big yard with grass and stuff. And they totally built all this shit around it just so that they could have it. It is the definition of exorbitance and needless spending. <laughs> Logs and water stuff. And food stuff. Or no, this looks like cow stuff. I wonder. Haha, they- wow, that seems kind of cruel and unusual. Uh, prob- This can't be efficient use of space. You know? It's just not very good for anyone involved. But it does keep them off of- out of the lower city. Which is probably the point of the for the proprietor. And hey, look, it's like a little lot thing. Jathal residence. Oparal residence. Uh, la. Why does that say Lalis residence? <laughs> Caladrell residence, man. Well, I wasn't even trying with these names, was I? Well, I say that, but I'm pretty sure most of these are words that I put through a Google Translator. It is common for families to band together here. Apart, they would all fall to the lower. There is safety in numbers for those who risk and win. True enough. Tessara residence. Maintenance residence. Well, that's definitely French. Let's go in here. Yep. I should have screamed for that. This is actually a maintenance door. <laughs> Which, originally, none of these had anything, any platforms in them. Like, obviously I put them in at some point, but for a long time they didn't. This one doesn't have a roof either. Is So, I've actually had more, at least one person open this up and fall down. By accident. <laughs> And this wasn't originally intended to be a maintenance passage. It just I just happened to build this underneath it and it was convenient for the purpose. So I thought, hey, why not? And thus the maintenance residence was born. And it's hilarious. But we're coming to near the end now. Which is good because I've been going for half an hour. Uh, do... There's this... Oops. Let's not fall. Actually, we can fall. We're not going to stay down here for very long. There's like redstone and stuff in this place, but no. We can climb! Because this is another secret hidden way up. Right here. Just all the way up, please. And we're up! And we're going this way. Or wait, no. Yeah, I don't think there's any signs or anything in there. By the way, this is the third noble family. That's the main house, that's where they put all of the other people. They really like money, which is to be expected because they own the most money out of everyone in the city, including the other nobles, by a considerable margin. And hey, it's a skating rink, which doesn't have any signs, but it's a still a skating rink, which is cool. This is actually a fairly new structure. It also has like goalposts or something. I don't know. They look vaguely go like gold posts, with nice little ca half block caps on top so they don't spawn monsters on them. Because obviously, this being a skating rink, I can't really put put lights on them. And you can even see below to some extent, which it looks all busy because this is right above a lake. Actually, that's a pretty neat uh, extra feature that I didn't consider before now. Abyss? Lake. Do not fall into lake. Damn it. Uh, and this here is an elevator! 
it's a boat elevator. It doesn't work very well, to be honest. But I put this here so that I had to wait. Well, the original idea was so I could get between the up the uh, canals and the upper city without breaking physics by swimming up a waterfall. So, you know, I went a boat, boat elevator because that screams we aren't abusing physics. Um, oh well. I don't really mind. The lower city is at, or the upper city, eh, the one I'm in right now. Something to pay to keep in mind. This whole thing is physically, um, well, it, it takes liberties, probably a whole lot, but everything is intended to look for the mo with one or two exceptions on this level as if it could actually be built in real life and stay standing. Uh, not so for anything on the Nobles Canal ways, including the canals themselves and Greatest Raining. That's so loud! Including the canals themselves, we sort of just float there. Uh, and hey, it's a cloud thing. Which I'm not gonna go into, but they're basically- they are cloud apartments. Actually, two of them are cloud apartments. I think one of them is the penthouse, I guess you could say, that the guy who owns the cloud apartments lives in. In the upper city, even clouds have been tamed and turned into real estate. Yeah, that's just kind of laughable, to be honest. That's I'm pretty sure that's what I was going for when I wrote it, and that's totally what it is. And hey, even the clouds have glowstone, how convenient. Uh, we will be going up there. Actually, no, we won't, because there's nothing up there. We're going down here. Uh, that is not part of the city. It is, in fact, part of my neighbor's island. But first, anyway, we have one more mark, uh, mark park to check out. Aha, built for Wesd artifacts, the Thorn of Desert. Or rather, Desert. Um... <laughs> That is that actually is not a typo. He is actually the thorn of dessert. He always ate it before everyone else. Um, and they just decided to sort of make make a pun in his honor. Because uh, <laughs> why not? This one is an apartment, but it's sealed off as you can see. Now we just have one final building on this level to check out. It is the Coliseum. Or the arena, same difference. The one part that's supposed to be dark enough for monsters to spawn. Not a place of punishment, but one of brutal hope. The people of the lower city compete here for a chance. A chance to live in the upper city. So, in other words, they put the people from the lower city willingly sign up to probably fight to the death in here. Just for the chance to live up here. That's pretty grim. Let's just go over to the podium over here, where the richer people get to, get to watch. Um, not so rich people, I don't know, I guess they need to watch from the clouds or something. And the nobles just watch from their temple up there. But, hey, this is here. And that's the tour of the upper city of Calculus. Sooner or later, I'll do one of these for the lower city and also the other two le levels. Which, while one of them is up there, the other one you can't actually see right now. It's it's complicated. Well, not really complicated so much as hidden and maze-like. Um, <laughs> so, until next time, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Look at Coopolis. I suppose that's what I'm going to call this. Why not? And until that next time, which I already said, make sure you have a good day. Bye!